Hey art friends, um, your snowmen are looking good from last week and if you didn't complete that assignment yet you can go back to past lessons and you can complete any assignments that are still missing. Uh, those assignments are going to be open until December 22nd which is coming up soon so if you're missing something and haven't turned it in make sure you go back and do those assignments if you're not sure which ones you're missing you can message me at the inbox and I'll let you know alright so today we are going to um, be talking about value some of you might remember talking about that in years past and value is a word in art that means the lightness and the darkness of a color so you might notice some colors can be lighter or darker. You look at the sky, it's a light blue. But if you look at um, this crayon, it's a dark blue. So there's different values in each color. So we're going to create a picture using different values today of just one color. So we're just going to focus on blue, but we're going to make it um, different values. So we're going to have some light blues and some dark blues. And we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Let me pause this. Okay, so what you're going to need today is a blank piece of paper and you're going to need three crayons. You're going to need a blue crayon, a black crayon, and a white crayon. The reason we need black and white is because they help us create different values. So if you want to make a darker value of a color, you just mix that color with black. Now it's easier to do this with paint. So if you have paint at home, you can get your paint out and you'll need a blue color, some black paint, and some white paint. And so you'll actually be mixing paint if you have that. But I'm going to use crayons because um, I think most people have crayons at home. But like I said, if you have paint, you can use that. So when you mix black with a color, you're creating a darker value, and that's called a shade. So shade is black plus the color equals a dark blue. If you want a lighter color, you'll use blue or whatever color mixed with white. And so that's going to create a tint. So white plus a color makes a tint. So here it's white plus blue makes a light blue. All right, so get out your pencil. And what we're going to create is kind of a picture of the moon as if it were shining. And it's going to create that value. So the brightest part of our picture is going to be the moon. So draw a big circle. That's going to be our moon. And then draw another circle around it. That's going to be our light blue. And then another circle around that. That's going to be just a regular blue. And then another circle around that. And mine's not going to go... I mean, mine is going to go off the page, so that's okay, because you're just going to imagine that there's a big circle there. And that's going to be our dark blue. So then we're going to have some sort of silhouette here. It can be whatever you want it to be. Um, a silhouette is like a shadow. So if you have an item and the, the light is shining behind it, it's going to look black against the light because all you're going to see is the shadow and you won't see any details of that thing. So if I had a tree in front of the moon, just drawing some zigzag lines there, start at the top, some zigzag lines, you would only see the shadow of the tree because the light is shining behind it. So I would color in that whole thing black. So there's the silhouette of my tree. Now you don't have to draw a tree. If you want to draw uh, just like a bird flying across the sky 
or you want to draw, you could draw another snowman right here and just color the whole thing black as a shadow or a silhouette. You can do that too. So whatever you want to have here, maybe a house or a person, person can be in silhouette as well. So use your imagination. You can do a tree like me if you want to, or you can come up with something different. All right, now let's do our value scale, our values. All right, we're gonna leave the moon white, so don't worry about that part. And now this ring around the moon, we're gonna make it a really light blue. So I'm gonna take my blue crayon and I'm gonna start coloring it. Don't push down too hard. You can create value just by the pressure you use with your crayon or colored pencil. It doesn't really work with markers. But just by barely pressing it, I already have a light blue. But then I'm gonna take my white crayon and I'm gonna go over it with white too. And that's kinda gonna mix those colors a little bit and give us a nice light blue. Remember, don't press hard with your blue crayon, but you will wanna press hard with your white crayon. And if you have paint, you can be doing this with paint. Just mix some white with your blue to create a light blue. All right, so there is my tint, my light blue. Remember to press lightly with your blue crayon. Oops, because if you press too hard, it's not going to look like a light blue. All right, now you're going to press harder with your crayon because you want just a normal value of blue. So even just by pressing harder with my crayon, you can see the difference in those values. See how much lighter this is than this one. It's the exact same crayon, but different values. And remember, value means the lightness and darkness of a color. All right, and there's my regular blue. And now I'm going to create that dark blue. So I'm going to do blue again, but this time I'm going to mix it with black. So I'm going to press lightly with the black because I still want the blue to go through. So if I color in lightly with the black and then add in that blue, you want to press hard with the blue. You can see it's it's a pretty dark blue because it's mixing it's mixing with the black. Uh oh, dropping my crayon. See that? All right, so now it looks like a winter sky, like the moon is shining and you've got these values that get going from really bright to really dark. And so if you wanna add a few more silhouettes, you can, like maybe a um, silhouette of a mountain, and color that in, uh, whatever you want to add. But you've got to have these different values um, coming from your moon. All right, can't wait to see how you do. Remember, you can always message me if you have questions. And don't forget to submit your assignment. All right, have fun.